Tonight I'm going to do um, a skirt steak. Uh, this is the inside of the skirt steak. There's two different kinds. There's the outside and the inside. The inside is long and skinny and flat like this. The outside's a little bit thicker, more like flank steak. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off some of this uh, fattier portions because since this is going to be a quick grill, I won't have time to render down. I'm not going to cut off all of it, but uh, a little bit of it here. I don't know as much about uh, skirt steak because the, uh, when I was able to work in the meat markets, when I worked in grocery stores when I was younger, um, the skirt steak wasn't around. It really wasn't a, a cut that was found in grocery stores. It was always, the uh, meat trimmers always took it home to their family and used it. So I never got to actually see it. But uh, there's two things you want to look at here. If you notice the grain comes across straight like this, so when it's cut or cooked, if you go to slice it and slice it this way, it's going to be tough and chewy because you have these long fibers in it. But obviously you don't want to slice it this way or you'd have these real long slices going on your plate. So I'm going to come in when I slice it at the end and come in at a bias like this so I'm cutting against the fiber and getting non, you know, servable size pieces. You have to excuse all the air conditioner noise, it's hot, and I am not going to wait till the ACs are off to uh, do this. And then one other thing I'm going to do, just real quickly, is lightly score across. This helps max maximize surface area, uh, and I think it also gives a nice texture when it finishes grilling. Come back the other way. So open it up to the uh, dry rub I'm going to put on it here in a few minutes and then grill it up. <laughs> 